Good morning, everyone. You are watching a live daily market outlook for Monday, 18th of June 2012. The day D has happened, and the Greek elections actually gave some more positive for the markets news as the New Democracy Party and the block of parties around them won the second elections. That was the main focus from last week, and they avoided the immediate. Uh, reaction of the markets that was expected to be quite uh, negative and the uh, most likely scenario would be the Greece uh, leaving the Eurozone and the uh, domino effect uh, spreading through the Eurozone uh, block. Uh, so far the relief was uh, temporary relief was provided and the risk uh, uh, appetite is uh, back in the markets as uh, Euro jumped higher on the uh, gap higher opening uh, this night and regaining uh, levels above uh, 127 as well as uh, sterling that was uh, propped uh, from last uh, last week's uh, break above the range uh, top at 156 uh, uh, hitting levels above uh, 57 uh, dollar against uh, yen has uh, regained some ground af after a bouncing of the dangerous uh, 7850 uh, zone uh, regaining levels above uh, 79 uh, dollar swiss continues to had uh, south uh, as a loss of uh, previous uh, weeks low and uh, strong support at 9477 has so far seen dip to 94.20 and route uh, towards our uh, next downside target at uh, 94.00 and uh, strong support at uh, 93.66. Commodities appreciated the recent uh, news uh, from Greece as uh, crude oil bounced uh, higher on its uh, one week uh, rally of uh, 81.10 low with 84.552 seen so far. This is the uh, high of the overnight uh, session as well as uh, gold that uh, despite uh, dipping uh, slightly lower on the market opening uh, today uh, found support at uh, 1600 the uh, strong uh, support level and uh, it's uh, back to strength however uh, 1633 was the high seen uh, last friday we need to see it again of uh, 1640 in order to uh, improve the current outlook and confirm actually the yellow metal uh, uh, running away from the critical uh, support zone at 15:30, uh, 15:20. 15, 15, uh, poor calendar for today, and uh, we're going to straight uh, straight to jump to the markets and uh, see the uh, past uh, 24 hours or so from last Friday uh, action of the commodities and the major currencies, and uh, see the outlook uh, for the uh, day that is ahead of us. Uh, starting as always uh, with euro, as this is now the focus. Uh, and the most uh, active instrument uh, during the hours of uh, Asian session and early Europe uh, session. We can see that uh, single currency against dollar uh, is extended its uh, four days rally from uh, last Tuesday's uh, bottom at 124.41 as uh, overnight's uh, gap higher opening uh, broke above previous uh, high at 126.67. The Friday's close was at 126.55, uh, just a few ticks uh, below this level with the Overnight's uh, strong opening higher, extending gains uh, through our initial targets 127 and 127.15 and hitting so far uh, 127.45. On the upside, immediate focus lies at uh, our next uh, target at uh, 128 and 128.23, which is the 21st of May uh, high. However, uh, uh, positive tone on the euro on the hourly chart keeps the upside in focus, but. Uh, uh, some corrective action is seen uh, uh, after hitting a uh, high at 127.45 during the early hours of Asian session as the studies uh, entered the overbought uh, zone. Uh, so far the session low at 126.71 equivalent to the previous uh, strong resistance at 126.67 holds the downside but the further easing is uh, not ruled out at this point. Uh, Next uh, support is uh, around there at 126.60. This is ascending a, a trend line of uh, 124.41 with more significant support seen at 126.29, uh, 38.2% uh, Fibonacci retracement of uh, 124.41 to 127.45 uh, rally, uh, what is also 55 days exponentially moving average, uh, while only loss of uh, 126 uh, uh, zone, which uh, also marks a higher low of uh, uh, last Friday at 125.91 and uh, 125.93 is the 50% retracement. Loss of this level could be risky and that could uh, weaken the and short-term uh, structure and uh, possibly allow for deeper reversal 
uh, in case of any reversal above uh, ideally 126.30 uh, uh, we see focus at the upside uh, initial barrier is at 127.45 uh, at as the pair already uh, picks above uh, 127.00 and the focus uh, turns towards uh, 128 and 128.23 uh, uh, that is actually our initial uh, upside target uh, daily structure <coughs> shows improvement as the studies regain the bullish <coughs> pardon momentum on the uh, daily chart and the break above uh, initial Fibonacci barrier at 38.2 percent of the move from uh, 132.82 to uh, 122.87 that was also equivalent to the previous peak at uh, 126.67 as well as a uh, crack of uh, 20 days uh, moving average uh, <coughs> pardon the crack of the uh, upper Bollinger uh, uh, band uh, sees the potential of uh, further extension higher 127 84 50% retracement is seen, is seen as interim uh, uh, barrier on the way towards uh, 128 and uh, 128 uh, 23 our uh, next uh, target at the upside <clears throat> the British pound again uh, extended its uh, gains on the last uh, Friday strong rally after breaking above uh, significant uh, resistance at uh, 156 uh, uh, zone the level that uh, capped the upside action during the whole past week and the last Friday's uh, a sharp rally through this and extension higher regained the uh, 157 as initial target and the uh, uh, upside uh, resistance at 157.15 29th of uh, uh, May 2012 high extending gains so far to 157.40 uh, this is the level uh, just ahead of uh, 157.50 200 days uh, moving average where the temporary uh, limit was uh, found some co consolidative action was seen during the overnight hours and early morning of Europe uh, where the 20 days uh, exponential moving average at 156.75 so far uh, held uh, the downside uh, with further easing uh, still not ruled out as the uh, studies are still pointing lower on the hourly chart uh, emerging out of the overbought uh, zone uh, with the 156 uh, level previous uh, resistance now acting as support uh, offering good support for now uh, before this there is uh, 156.13 the 55 days uh, moving average uh, I would say only loss of uh, 156 and the trend line support at 155.60 uh, with the weak and the near term, uh, pardon, short term structure of uh, 152.67 uh, and uh, uh, most likely turn uh, into more uh, range uh, trading uh, as long as uh, on the downside range uh, floor at 154.50 holds uh, close above uh, uh, 157 today would be uh, very supportive and will open way towards uh, next uh, barriers at uh, 158.00 uh, zone which is uh, also uh, well, pardon, 158.00 zero zero zone and uh, possibly 158.47 high of uh, 22nd of uh, May 2012. On the daily uh, chart, the studies are pointing, the indicators, pardon, are pointing higher uh, with the regain of uh, momentum and the lift above 38.2% uh, at uh, 156.62. Now seeing the first uh, strong obstacle at uh, 157.50, 200 days uh, moving average uh, just ahead of 50% uh, retracement at uh, 157.83 uh, positive tone that has uh, been established uh, sees potential uh, for further extension with the break above a uh, very uh, significant barrier at 157.50 uh, moving average uh, to expect that uh, to open way uh, with today's close above this level uh, to confirm the short-term bulls of uh, 152.67 and uh, look for uh, extension towards uh, possibly one uh, a 59 zone that marks 61.8 percent retracement of the down move from 163 to 152.67. <clears throat> the dollar yen it's in its recent uh, action higher and the overnight gap higher opening uh, has uh, emerged out of uh, a dangerous uh, zone at uh, one uh, pardon at uh, 78 uh, 50 60 where the 200 days uh, moving average so far uh, so far managed to uh, protect the downside from a further easing uh, but uh, still uh, to see the gain of uh, minimum uh, 7950 and 7980 previous uh, highs and the uh, past week's uh, range uh, top uh, that will uh, break of which uh, will allow for a stronger recovery it will confirm the higher low at uh, 7860 and the 
allow for stronger recovery towards 80, 80, 13 and 80, 60. Our next uh, upside targets, uh, the studies on the uh, one hour chart they are in the, in the positive uh, territory and uh, uh, supportive for now as immediate uh, uh, support uh, comes from 55 days uh, moving average at 79.10. This was uh, uh, previous uh, resistance uh, now acting again as uh, support uh, with the four hour uh, structure still uh, in the negative territory but uh, pointing higher and the gain of uh, 79.80 required uh, to confirm the uh, short near term positive tone and allow for a stronger recovery. Uh, daily, daily studies are still in the negative, uh, negative to neutral uh, mode at this point. Uh, support it was uh, uh, recent dips uh, uh, limit at uh, 78, uh, 60, where it's uh, 200 days uh, moving average, uh, uh, but uh, still a negative uh, tone and pressure is seen uh, unless it's, uh, unless uh, 79, 80 and 80, 0, 0 levels are regained. There is also descending uh, 55 days uh, moving average at. Uh, uh, 8014, uh, 8014, where is also the 38.2% uh, retracement and basically break above these levels. This is our initial uh, barriers. Uh, these are our initial barriers at uh, 8008013 to open way for a stronger recovery of the down move from uh, 8417 yearly peak that so far bottomed at uh, 7765. However, uh, need to mention that uh, negative uh, outlook uh, still uh, dominates uh, as the pair remains in the downtrend unless it's, unless we see a gain of uh, 80, uh, 8013 and 8060 the more more significant uh, barrier risk uh, uh, still uh, risk is still seen towards the downside uh, on the downside strong support is at uh, 7765 previous low uh, 1st of uh, June as well as uh, broken uh, bear trend line of 8408 and uh, a break below here uh, to open uh, a way for further extension of the short term uh, uh, descent of 84.17 towards uh, 77.36 our next target and 77.00. The dollar Swiss as mentioned in introduction uh, is uh, heading uh, lower after losing its uh, strong support at uh, 94.77 last Monday's uh, low after the corrective action uh, from here was uh, limited at uh, 94, uh, pardon, 96.50, just ahead of uh, uh, very strong barriers at 96.56 and 96.75. In this case, uh, leaving a lower top uh, at 96.49 and a uh, uh, fresh weakness and break uh, uh, below 94.77, so far extended to 94.20. Uh, approaching our next uh, downside targets at uh, 94.00 and then uh, 93.66. Uh, that marks low of uh, 21st of uh, uh, May 2012. Uh, Near-term uh, structure remains negative as studies are in the uh, negative uh, territory and they keep the downside focus. Uh, some corrective action is seen uh, this morning uh, of 94.20 low as uh, the uh, hourly RSI dipped uh, into the oversold uh, zone. Uh, so far the session's uh, high was uh, at 94.77 equivalent to the previous low of uh, and the strong support where the uh, corrective action was so far capped uh, also with the descending uh, 20 days uh, moving average currently at 94.74 so far keeping the upside protected in case of any further uh, bounce higher I would say 95 zone where is also the 55 days uh, descending ex exponential moving average should uh, contain any uh, further bounce higher so far uh, the negative uh, uh, tone doesn't see much of the action and only break above 95.36, 95.50 would uh, provide the near-term relief and uh, look for a stronger uh, corrective action. So far, uh, the uh, as upside uh, was uh, capped and the, the overnight gap was not uh, filled uh, completely, a risk is seen towards the downside, uh, 94.39 and, uh, of course, 94.20 ahead of uh, 94.00 and uh, 93.66, uh, our next uh, downside targets. Uh, the daily structure is uh, uh, still uh, is negative now on the reversal of uh, 95, 97.69, 1st of uh, uh, June, uh, low as uh, loss of uh, initial uh, momentum sees risk of uh, further extension lower with break uh, below 94.00 uh, that also marks a 50% retracement of uh, 90.41 to 97.69. Uh, to open a set higher low of uh, 21st of May at uh, 
the crude oil benefited uh, again uh, from its uh, uh, from the Greek uh, results of uh, Greek elections, and it was also supported in the or from the last uh, week's OPEC uh, uh, decision, keeping the near term positive tone of uh, uh, last Tuesday's low at 81.08 with the 85.52. Since so far, this is the uh, session's uh, low during the Asian uh, uh, session, uh, with the still. Uh, I would say positive uh, studies, uh, positive uh, tone seen on the uh, hourly chart as long as uh, uh, sending a red line of uh, 8108 uh, uh, currently at uh, 8320 uh, zone holds the downside. Before this, we have uh, uh, more significant support of uh, 8380, which 8380, 8400, which marks the uh, previous uh, consolidative uh, range uh, top and the uh, higher low at. Uh, 83.40 posted the last Friday, loss of which along with the trend line uh, would soften the near-term structure. On the larger uh, time frames, uh, studies on four-hour chart have regained some uh, ground after breaking above the midlines, but uh, a short-term uh, uh, recovery top at 87 uh, zone, uh, the, re the recovery of the recent uh, uh, low at 81.19 that has already been uh, cracked by last week's uh, break uh, to 81.08 uh, uh, access uh, a very strong barrier and basically only break above this level that also marks 23.6% uh, 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 retracement of the uh, down leg from uh, 106.41 to 81.08 uh, uh, keeps uh, the downside uh, still in focus. Only break above 87.00 would be supportive and will allow for a stronger uh, corrective action but as still seen as corrective as uh, the oil remains uh, in the firm downtrend of its uh, yearly peak at uh, 110.53 posted on the uh, 1st of uh, uh, March 2012 and the sharp decline seen of uh, uh, 1st of May peak at uh, 106.49 as uh, uh, more and more signals uh, showing uh, uh, major world economies and the overall world economies are in the further uh, slowdown that uh, will uh, uh, be a good signal for further uh, uh, lowering the uh, demand for the energies that keeps basically pressure on the oil's price. Unless uh, break uh, above 87 initial and strong barrier is seen, uh, risk uh, would be still turned towards the downside and break uh, below uh, 81.10, 81.08 uh, recent uh, lows to open our next uh, significant uh, uh, support and target at 80.00. Uh, that was all uh, for today. Uh, thank you for uh, being uh, with us. Uh, we, our next session is uh, uh, tomorrow morning at the same time at 7.00 GMT and we expect uh, uh, to see you again with us. The f uh, question and answer session will uh, follow uh, shortly. Thank you and good luck.